Hi, I'm Celeste Cote, Sierra Club Canada's National Water Campaigner. For the month of March, I've decided to challenge myself to consume only 25 litres of water per day or less. It's not as difficult as you might think, but it has been interesting so far. Hence the measuring cup. I'm actually measuring every milliliter, every ounce, every liter of water I consume in a day. I'm measuring the water that I'm using to water my plants. I'm measuring the amount of water I'm giving my cat. I am measuring the amount of water that my toilet uses when it flushes. Um, all these things and more. So it's going to be an interesting month. <laughs> um, I look forward to doing things like dishes and laundry and seeing the impact of those on my water consumption. But you might be wondering why I'm doing this. Um, we actually have this problem in Canada called the myth of water abundance. At least that's what us water geeks call it. This figure gets thrown out often of Canada has 20% of the world's fresh water and how water wealthy we are and we're so lucky that we should bottle it up and package it and sell it and all this stuff, um, which is a water campaigner's nightmare, of course. Uh, the fact is, there's a difference between what water is just sitting there and what's actually sustainable for use. You see, ecosystems and rivers and streams and lakes have what's called an ecological base flow in order for them to function normally. And if it dips below that, well, most water flows somewhere else and everyone's downstream from somewhere. So if you mess with the water at the headwaters downstream, there might not be a creek where there used to be one. Um, so that's one issue. Another issue is that our water is becoming incredibly and heavily polluted at a very alarming rate. Now, folks always say, oh, we're not going to run out of water, but there's the pollution factor. And there's also the misleading nature of our hydrologic cycle, the way it's generally understood. People always say, but Celeste, the hydrologic cycle, you know, it evaporates, it rains, it evaporates, it rains. We're never going to run out of water. The thing that gets lost in that understanding of the hydrologic cycle is that when it rains onto soil, depending on what kind of soil it is, it can take up to hundreds of years for the water to percolate and filter down through that soil. So while, you know, water molecules are recycled over generations and millennia for that matter, there are long periods of time where that fresh water becomes inaccessible to us. A lot of Canadians also don't realize that between one in four, or sorry, one in four municipalities in between 1994 and 1999 experienced water shortages in Canada. Now I can give a source for that stat in my blog if anyone's interested. But the fact is that in Canada, we're not immune from water problems. And if anything, uh, one of, as one of my colleagues puts it, with climate change, you know, we talk about greenhouse gas emissions and carbon footprints, yet the effects of climate change are gonna be felt primarily through water. So I encourage all of you to keep in touch and you know, comments, suggestions, anything that you'd like to see covered in terms of water consumption on this blog. I'll do my best to address them all. Um, I look forward to blogging every day this month. I look forward to maybe giving out some tips for folks at home how they can conserve water and hopefully encourage communities to conserve water as well because it's more than an individual effort. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Lots to say, whole month to say it. Send me your questions and comments if you like. Thanks very much. Keep in touch. Stay tuned.